Once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled amidst lush mountains and serene rivers, there lived a wise Zen master named Master Wei. He was known far and wide for his profound wisdom and ability to teach valuable life lessons through simple yet insightful stories. One sunny morning, a curious young villager named Li came to visit Master Wei, seeking guidance. Li had recently been experiencing some challenges with certain friends, and he wanted to understand how to deal with these situations wisely. Master Wei smiled warmly and invited Li to sit with him under the shade of an ancient oak tree. Li began, Master Wei, life is like a journey, and the people we meet along the way can influence us greatly. It is essential to choose friends who support and nurture our growth. However, sometimes it becomes necessary to let go of certain friendships that no longer serve us well. In response to Lee's inquisitive gaze, Master Wei proceeded to share the story of the five types of people you should stop being friends with. The Energy Vampires These are individuals who constantly drain your positive energy, leaving you feeling exhausted and emotionally depleted. They often complain, criticize, and bring unnecessary drama into your life, hindering your personal growth. The Envious Souls Envy is a toxic emotion that can lead to jealousy and resentment. Friends who are envious of your success and achievements may not genuinely celebrate your victories, but instead harbor ill feelings. Such friendships can hold you back from reaching your full potential. The Manipulators These people use deceit, lies, and emotional manipulation to get what they want. They may appear friendly on the surface, but have hidden agendas that can be harmful to your well-being. Associating with manipulators can lead to a loss of trust and a lack of genuine connections. The constant complainers. Complaining is a natural part of life, but some individuals make it their primary way of communicating. Being friends with constant complainers can be draining and hinder your ability to maintain a positive outlook on life. The non-supportive dream crushers. These friends discourage you from pursuing your dreams and goals. They may belittle your aspirations, making you doubt your abilities and potential. Surrounding yourself with people who lack faith in your abilities can hinder your personal growth and self-confidence. Lee listened attentively, absorbing the wisdom in each word. He realized that he had some of these types of friends in his life, and their influence was affecting him negatively. So Master Wei asked Lee, How do I go about ending such friendships without causing harm or conflict? Master Wei nodded thoughtfully and replied, The key is to do it with compassion and understanding. Begin by focusing on your own well-being and growth. As you change, some friendships may naturally fade away. For others, have open and honest conversations about your feelings and the reasons for the changes you seek. It's essential to be kind but firm in your decision to let go of friendships that no longer align with your path. Lee thanked Master Wei for his profound wisdom and went on his way with newfound clarity in his heart. He vowed to surround himself with friends who would inspire, uplift, and support him on his journey through life. As the days passed, Lee followed Master Wei's advice diligently. He took the time to reflect on each of his friendships and evaluated whether they fell into any of the five categories Master Wei had mentioned. Gradually, Lee began to distance himself from those who did not contribute positively to his life. The energy vampires were the first to fade away. Lee realized that spending time with them drained his enthusiasm and left him feeling emotionally exhausted. He reduced his interactions with them, and as a result, he found himself feeling more energized and positive. Next, Lee identified the envious souls in his circle. He recognized that their jealousy and lack of genuine joy for his accomplishments were holding him back from fully celebrating his successes, while he wished them well. He chose not to share his achievements with them as frequently. Instead, he shared his triumphs with friends who genuinely celebrated his victories and supported his growth. Lee became more aware of the manipulators in his life. He noticed their subtle tactics and learned to establish healthy boundaries by being assertive and not falling into their traps. Lee protected himself from their negative influence. The constant complainers were also addressed with empathy. Lee understood that everyone goes through tough times and needs to vent occasionally, 
but it shouldn't be the primary way of communication. He gently encouraged his friends to focus on finding solutions to their problems and offered support in their endeavors to make positive changes. Lastly, Lee confronted the non-supportive dream crushers. He expressed his dreams and aspirations with confidence, even when faced with criticism or doubt. Lee realized that he didn't need anyone's validation but his own. By surrounding himself with friends who believed in him, he found the strength to pursue his passions wholeheartedly. As Lee gradually let go of the friendships that no longer served him, he also welcomed new connections into his life. These were individuals who shared his values, supported his growth, and inspired him to be a better person. One day, as he walked through the village, Lee crossed paths with a fellow villager named May. They struck up a conversation, and Lee soon discovered that May shared his interests and dreams. They quickly developed a strong bond and became close friends. Master Wei observed these positive changes in Lee's life and smiled approvingly. He knew that the young villager had embraced the valuable life lesson he had shared. Master Wei's wisdom continued to spread throughout the village, inspiring others to examine their own friendships and make choices that aligned with their personal growth and well-being. And so, the tranquil village nestled amidst lush mountains and serene rivers continued to thrive with Master Wei's teachings guiding its inhabitants toward a more fulfilling and harmonious way of life. The oak tree under which Master Wei and Li had their insightful conversation became a place where villagers gathered to share stories, wisdom, and laughter, further strengthening the bonds of friendship and community.